that's the magnificent sound of the Beckstein piano. Uh, there's not a lot of them in Australia, they're not represented as, as well as Wertheim and uh, Ronish and other great makers, Richard Lipp, uh, Hall of Fame pianos. Beckstein tended to be brought out by people who were moving here and well-to-do people often who could afford a beautiful Beckstein. So, you know, every now and then we have the pleasure of taking one apart and restoring it. And that task we have just finished a couple of weeks ago now with this beautiful Beckstein upright grand. It's a full keyboard right up to top C and that's where the grand keyboard comes in. And of course the length of the strings on this beautiful example are salon grand length. So this is an upright grand from really and truly one of the great makers. There's nothing you can really put between uh, beautiful Lip, Ronish, Beckstein, Bluthner. Um, but these always shine out as a, a very worthy instrument in that Hall of Fame group. So an instrument like this, what do we do with it? Well, when it comes to the workshop, we take it all apart and uh, the action comes out, the keys come out. Uh, the keys on this are the original ivories, which is rather lovely. And so they needed grinding and buffing to get them back. And the action, when removed, goes into our action workshop and is taken completely apart. New hammers, dampers, everything. So this instrument then is a rebuilt piano. Beautifully restrung and repinned. And of course right on up to concert pitch. So it's a big instrument. But it's not the biggest going around. Here's a bigger instrument again. Beautiful Schwechten upright, which we're restoring for a family. Uh, so, you know, they, another great maker. Quite well re re represented here in Australia. And many of them have survived and are well and truly worth uh, restoring. This instrument is typical of many that come here to be restored. Not instruments of my own. Uh, this has been a family instrument. And the family who have it now was the lady's grandmother's instrument when new. Um, about 1918, I think we worked out for this one. Uh, so all the perishable parts have had to be done. New hammers, dampers, tapes, all the bearings and bushings. And on this one, another beautiful set of ivory keys. A lot of pianos develop terrible yellowed looking keys and sometimes they're very thoughtlessly removed and plastic ones and whatever put on. But uh, if you've got the time and the patience and the equipment, <laughs> a little bit of know-how, and we can take these keys individually, grind them down with a series of um, different grinding abrasives and then take each one individually again to the buff and buff them up with a high, high finish and they come back to the most beautiful set of keys. So I'm really looking forward to this instrument going back to Eltham, to the family, uh, because uh, they'll be thrilled to see just what it really was. They had a suspicion it was a good instrument. Someone had told them it was ready for the tip to buy a new one. Look at this most gorgeous instrument. I'd play it for you, only I'm still regulating and adjusting the action and I haven't tuned it finally. So it would sound a bit honky-tonk. So we won't embarrass this great maker by playing one of his pianos. So it's still been just getting back to the Beckstein, I'll put the front back on. It's got its original candelabra, which is lovely. But that's a musician's instrument. Or for an advanced student to have an instrument like that in your home. Um, ready to do a couple of generations of hard work is a lovely thing to be involved with. And this is, of course, our 101st year as piano restorers and tuners in Melbourne. So I keep um, proudly telling people wherever I go. But uh, fortunately, I have uh, two of my sons who are apprenticed with me now and are going beautifully through the work. This instrument, the stripping and polishing of it, for example, was done by Douglas. 
one of our sons, and he's, with a bit of guidance, has taken to this side of the work beautifully. And he's getting a highly finished, skilled finish onto these instruments. So, I'm very pleased to be able to report that. I'll put the front back on this one. Next time.